I want to do a similar problem from start to finish to give you an idea. This one, the early stages are pretty typical. You just simply cross multiply and I think most of you would know to do that. And then distribute out the values. I think that also comes pretty straightforward. Here's where it gets a little trickier because of the x squared. Students will get stumped here a little bit, but if we gather everything to one side, maybe, maybe Algebra 1 starts to appear. This is where we realize we have a trinomial. Now there are different ways to solve such a thing. You could do quadratic formula. Um, certainly would work. Uh, remember this is your A value would be a 1. Your B value would be negative 1. Your C value would be negative 12 and you could plug it in. Another way to do this is, is to factor it. You might want to try and factor it. Now to to factor, we would be looking for two numbers that multiply to negative 12, but also would add together to give you negative 1. Now, I see how a 3 and a 4 would be helpful in this, so a 3 and a 4, and to make this work, the 4 would be the negative. So we would have x plus 3 and x minus 4 equaling 0. And so the solutions, though, would be negative 3 and positive 4 would be the potential answers to this question.